Today I'm just going to do a quick video on the Powertech Shape system. Uh, in my opinion, this was one of the most underrated pieces of, of equipment that I've sold. Uh, sometimes this game is like that. You get equipment and you know how good it is because you use it and you see the value, but being able to, to tell customers um, how it works and how good it is is sometimes hard. And it's an interesting story about this machine. Uh, that, that's the reason why I'm doing it. I've, you know, I, I don't sell them. This one I'm finally getting rid of. It's from 2008. That shows you how much I liked it. Uh, but sadly, I'm running out of room, so I'm getting rid of it. But, you know, this, they stopped making this machine, I think. Um, yeah, it would have been around then. Uh, the shape, Powertech shape system came in several different formats, and this was my favorite. Um, what I liked about it, obviously, is it's so compact. Um, it's got universal um, um, weight carriages. So um, being plate loaded, it was, it was quite cheap. And, you know, people would say, um, oh, you know, you can just sit your bench in. You don't need to have the bench attached. But this is a classic case of it's not till you have actually had the bench attached that you find out how handy it is to have the bench attached because, um, you know, setting up for certain exercises, sometimes it can get you in the, the wrong position. Um, sometimes machines, if they're sitting on painted concrete floors, they can move around. Um, but yeah, having the, the bench on this was definitely very handy. Um, my, my favorite exercise on this machine was the seated um, chest press. And you're just in the perfect position. You could adjust the height, adjust the angle, um, along with all the other different exercises that you could put, pull on, perform on uh, high-low pulleys. So you could set it up um, one pulley high for triceps, one pulley low for biceps and do supersets. And I always used to say it was, um, you know, for someone with a decent sized garage, it was the perfect um, complement machine to the, the Powertech multi-system. Now, where it gets interesting, um, <coughs> The reason why it was, was um, taken off the market was because in America, and it wasn't until um, we sold one to some mates and they put it in a surf club that I found out it could do it, was when you had the... When you had the pulley set right up at the top, if you came right out and then you pull and you hit the top, it could tip the machine over when the bench, when the bench wasn't out. I do not know how people managed to do this. Most people think because of the compact range or the compact foot plate here, that the cable crossover is a disadvantage here. Most people at, uh, at uh, clubs and gyms are used to using cable crossovers that have a wide <coughs> foot plate and the cables are located out to the side. It's true that maybe it is easier to do the positioning because you're just pushing through a straight line of, line of motion. But on this machine here, we virtually get the same movement, we just have to change hand positions. So instead of regularly, because the weight is placed out to the side of us, we cannot push down in this manner, <coughs> get an effective chest train. Um, it takes a lot of effort to get the, um, the cables all the way out there and then to keep pulling till it falls over. But you know how it rolls in America, um, even if you're an idiot, you still can sue someone. So Powertech had to take this off the market. And for years I tried to um, get them to, to put it back on the market. But yeah, they just, they weren't keen on the design. Um, another thing that hurt it was um, at the time, this was on forums and there was a, a gym equipment um, forum on bodybuilding.com and, you know, someone had built one and said that the, the, uh, it wasn't smooth and they were an experienced um, gym equipment installer. 
Now, when you first build any cable machine, um, especially something like this with a complicated cable path, it's new, it can sometimes be a bit, bit sticky. Also, if you haven't got it aligned, it can sometimes be a bit sticky. And, you know, it just takes a bit of time to wear in or a slight adjustment here and there. Um, but because someone had gone on there and said that it wasn't smooth, that they um, claimed that the carriage could get stuck with no weight on it, it sort of put a few people off. But yeah, there was no issues there. Um, but it just shows you a combination of um, stupidity with people doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing on equipment, um, internet experts on forums. And yeah, basically back then it was harder to convey messages like we are now. There was just pictures. Um, yes, there was video, but you know, I don't even know if YouTube was around then or it was just kicking off. But yeah, it was hard to explain to people how good this machine was. And yeah, sadly it just died a, um, a slow death. And yeah, this will be the last one. And yeah, uh, but you know, it just shows you too also the advances that have been made in, in the construction of the new machines. But still, this thing, I still use it now and it still does it jo its job and 2008 you can't complain about that for longevity.